Shalom, Shalom. This is the brother Yeshaya. I would like to say Kahalayim la Yahawu, Bahashim, Yahawu Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, the men I learned this truth from. Now, this, this lesson was inspired on prayer and how uh, the Heavenly Father, Yahawu, his name meaning he exists, how he doesn't hear the prayers of a sinner. And we know according to the scriptures, a sin is transgression of the law. So, if you go against the laws, statutes, and commandments that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai had taught us, then you are against the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which His name meaning uh, He uh, He Deliverer or He Savior. But uh, I do want to mention as well, double honors unto the elders and, and the apostles of Great Millstone, the men I learned this truth from. You know, but through the Spirit, I found this image right here that, that, you know, goes over praying. You know, you're supposed to pray without ceasing, which means you pray without stopping. You know, you, you always have to meditate on these, these, the ways that were given unto us from our forefathers, you know, the righteous ones. Because our people, as a whole nation, have gone off. But through the scriptures, we read about the accountants you know of our, our forefathers and how they earned mercy and how they maintained in favor of Yahweh will Yahweh Shai so we have to pray towards the east which is Jerusalem our promised land the holy land that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai will take us to in these last days once we go through our, our trials and tribulations Adabon Ratazawi are those men that are going to be raised up in the end or beamed up in the end but regardless until then we got to focus on prayer fasting and meditating on these scriptures feel free you know i'm not going to get into all these precepts that it's telling me you know to go into here on this image but uh, yeah daniel 6 and 10 pretty much shows you how we're supposed to face towards the east and you know feel free to go through these these uh scriptures that mention it you know feel free to screenshot this image but to go ahead and get to the precepts this is going to be proverbs chapter 28 verse 9 which pretty much uh, sparked uh, the spirit to, to make me do this lesson this is proverbs 28 verse 9 he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law so this is what it's referring to if you turn away from the law you know you have those itching ears like these two-thirds you don't want to hear it you don't care you just want to follow your own your own thinking well, this is what's, what it says. Even his prayer shall be abomination. So your prayer, you know, a prayer simply means to ask. That's what praying is. You're asking, you know, for, for mercy. You're asking for strength. You're asking for guidance. You're asking to, to, to be watched over, you know. You're asking to, 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 to bless the brotherhood. You're asking to be blessed, you know. You're just asking. You're constantly asking Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to have mercy and, and so on. But this is Proverbs 28 and 9. I want to go into the word abomination. Because that's very, uh, a very strong word. It means a disgusting thing. Abomination, abominable, and ritual sense of unclean, uh, unclean food, idols, mixed marriages, and ethical sense of wickedness. It's wicked for uh, someone that doesn't want to obey Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to even ask, to be, uh, to ask for something. You know, it's like a disobedient child asking you for something after they've been acting up all day. You've been having to get on this child, you know, uh, uh, all day. You know, you're having to, to chastise them, you know, having to rebuke them. And at the end of the day, they're still asking you for things. You know, that, that, that that's just, it's disgusting for them to assume that you owe them anything after they've done nothing to, to earn, uh, earn any type of... Uh, You know, can't think of the word at the moment, but slack you. Anyways, and that this lesson was inspired by this brother that GMS FAQ. You know, he created this website, and then I don't want to say I'll leave it in the description box, so brothers can go onto this website. Because if you look right here, there's these two arrows. You know, but it goes into prayers of the heathen and Cornelius. 
So, you know, prayers of the heathen is really where I got this uh, idea from. You know, this is that one precept. But if I go back, you know, it mentions Cornelius as well, which proves he's an Israelite throughout all these scriptures. You know, he wasn't just some random dude from another nation. No, he was an Israelite. He was a uh, Israelite foreigner. You know, there's topics and whatnot. There's breakdowns. So feel free, you know, Akim wa Akwath, study. You know, that's what we're called to do in these last days. But, you know, so if you don't want to obey Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shai, don't be surprised when they don't listen to you, when they don't want to hear it. Then you start to suffer more and more. Because we're in the time to get right right now. We can't wait until the very end. We can't wait till we're done partying all we want, doing all we want. And then at the end, whenever everything's cracking, you know, everything's going down. You can't. <laughs> yes, this, we're not in the time of waiting. Now, we're in the time of studying and focusing and, and being patient for Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. But we're not just waiting to do right the right thing. We're, we're doing the right thing now. So, to make it clear, we are waiting on Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. But we're doing everything we can to please them. You know, that, that's exactly what, you know, that's the point. We're, we're waiting, but pleasing, doing what we can. You know, it's the best of our ability to please Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. We're not, we're putting away the things of this world. We don't care to please our, 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 our people on, uh, our people that we know on this earth. You know, we don't care about pleasing our women. We don't care about pleasing our, our children. We don't care about pleasing our friends. We don't care about, you know, and, and friends, you know, of this world, you know, it's better to stay away from those people. You know, because you, you got to surround yourself with the brotherhood. You got to fellowship with the brotherhood. We're not pleasing our, our, our family members, no matter who they are and no matter how close they are, because eventually they're going to just turn on you. That's the reality of it. You know, some people, some brothers may have relatives that don't really mind what they're doing, you know. But at the end of the day, a majority of us are going to suffer because our own families are going to reject us. We're going to be like aliens unto our own household. To continue with the lesson, you know, I don't want to make this one too long. I got a couple more precepts. They're very uh, to the point. John 9 and 31. Now we know that the Most High here is not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of the Most High and doeth his will, him he heareth. And see, like I mentioned, the brothers have that have this website, you know, they can write their own breakdowns, or of course, look at the, the brother that created this website, GMS F and F A and Q. You know, the Wadi Hawa Bahashim Yahawashar for having the brother Shamash one. You know, the another brother part of the Burn Her With Camp. I would her Burn Her With Fire Camp. You know, the Wadi to that brother, you know, he showed me this website. But right here it says, uh, you know, heareth not sinners. The Most High doesn't hear a sinner, someone that breaks his laws. But if any man be a worshiper of the Most High and doeth his will, him he heareth. You know, we're supposed, we're supposed to worship Yahweh or Yahawashai and do what he commanded us to do, which is study, pray, fast. You know, put away our flesh, put away this, this world to the best of our ability and focus in on, on what's what's really going to last, what's going to be everlasting. Because this stuff will never go away and do with his will, him he heareth. The most I hear is those that consider him. He's, he's considering those that consider him. You know, and this one says the breakdown tagged as Cornelius because the Lord hear his, heard his prayers. And that means Cornelius wasn't no heathen. Cornelius was an Israelite the spirit was dealing with you know and it goes into the breakdowns you know the, the words the Greek you know but the, the scripture is very plain the most high deals with those that deal with him he doesn't deal with hypocrites someone that walks around acting like they know what they're doing someone that that claims to be a believer and they're out there praying in the streets they're out there praying in public we know according to Matthew I believe it's Matthew 6 and 5. Or from, you know, it's either Matthew 6 and 5 or Matthew 5 and 6. They're going into how you're not supposed to pray. You know, Yahweh Shai is mentioning how you're not supposed to pray like a sinner. You know, trying to be seen of men. You know, because that the Heavenly Father had said, you know, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai had said to pray secretly and openly, He will bless thee. You know, just, uh, I may have butchered it, but, you know, that, that's, that's the message. So this is a personal thing. This isn't for men. We're not doing this so our society can look at us like we're somebody. You know, we, we're, we pray, you know, because it's personal. And we know our prayers are being heard. 
you know, even when times it feels like you're not being answered the way you want to be answered, the Heavenly Father has it perfectly played out. He already has it, you know, to the way he wants it to be. This is Isaiah 59 and 2. But your iniquities, and that word iniquities means sin upon sin, you know, just pure wickedness, have separated between you, have separated between you and your power. So that's what's going to separate you and from the Heavenly Father if you continue to sin and live in sin. And your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. And that's exactly why two thirds of our people don't believe. They're so damn con con confused because they just they live in sin. The Heavenly Father has blinded them. You know, he's hid himself. And that's exactly why some people, you know, majority of our people do not have faith. You know, Esau and Edom is spiritually dead. He, he never will have faith. You know, that's why it's important to know that there's Israelite foreigners that may look like a so-called white man. But in reality, they are Israelites. You know, so the Most High has hid his face from those that don't, that, that continue in their sin and don't consider him. That don't consider his law, statutes, and commandments. This will be the last precept I pull out. Jeremiah 14, verse 10. Thus saith Yahweh unto, his, unto this people, Thus have they loved to wander, they have not refrained their feet. Therefore Yahweh does not accept them. He will now remember, see? He will now remember their iniquity and visit their sins. You know, they're shameless in their sins. To refrain, let's go into that word refrained. They have not refrained. To withhold, restrain, hold back, keep in check. They have not kept in check their, 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 their direction that they're going in. So Yahweh does not accept them. He doesn't accept those that don't consider him. You know, they consider how they feel. They do what they want to do. They have pride because they follow in the ways of Esau. Esau has taught them to think against Yahweh what Yahweh shy. Jeremiah 14 and 11. Then said Yahweh unto me, pray not for this people for their good. I'm actually going to continue. When they fast, I will not hear they, their cry. And when they offer a burnt offering and an oblation, I will not accept them. But I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. And that's exactly what's going to happen. These people that are not accepting of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, they're going to have to suffer in these last days. Just as in the days of Noah, when no one wanted to hear Noah, cry out unto our people they suffered they continued to party and act like everything was good until those doors shut and there was no way of getting out of what of, of the bed they made you know they they made their bed and now they had to lay in it so that's why we're doing that's why we we're doing what we can to, to please Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai he has called upon us to make a difference and focus so now that's all we can do is put our, our best foot forward and move in the right direction and turn away from this world so I don't want to out this lesson was it a fine I would like to close out by saying double honors unto the elders and the apostles of great millstone the men I learned this truth from shalom to the helpful elect